it's day 72 and I've stolen my code from day 62 to make this. So what we need to do is extend this so that instead of looking for a specific username and password, we are able to check and ask the user to create their own username and password the very first time this all happens. So we've already got the replit DB in um, and here's the bit where we ask for the password. So what we need to do is put a check to make sure if there's uh, anything in it. So all the records, the first time you run this, there'll be nothing in here. So you'll see here we've got zero keys in my database, which is, so what I need to do is I need to put a check here to see if there are no keys in there. And if there are no keys in there, then I want to prompt the user for a login. So I'm going to get all the keys and I'm going to use len. If the len of keys is less than one, in other words, there's none in there, then I need to prompt them to create a username. So print, first run, create account. So I'm gonna ask them for a username. I'm gonna make sure I've got random so I can generate some salt. I'm gonna go crazy this time, generate a massive salt. So salt is gonna be random.randint. And I'm gonna generate it between uh, the number, oh actually zero and Let's go for a really big number this time. Okay, so new password is going to be constructed with an F string. It's going to be the password plus the salt. And in fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hash this in line for a change. Do it all in one go. So our password is hashed and salted in one go there. Cool, so if that's the case, I need to store it in my database. So DB username equals a dictionary. Don't get it wrong this time. Uh, password. My password is going to be my new password. And my salt is going to be my salt. So then we would go on. Let me just cut that. Then we go on here. Okay. So I need an else there. So if it's not the first run, what are we going to do? We're going to prompt them for we're going to prompt them for their username and their password. We're going to check to make sure that that key exists. So I need to get, or I've got the keys here actually. So I need to say if username keys, we'll go here. Actually, we'll do if username not in keys, and then we'll print out username or password incorrect and we'll exit. Now, it's nice to say username and password's incorrect there because the user really doesn't know which one of those is, is correct. So it's good to not give the user a specific error if the username is wrong because if this is a hacker trying to get in, we want to give them as little information as possible. So I'll use that same error message in a little bit when we pick up on the password. So we need to then pull out the salt. So that's going to be db username salt. We need to regenerate the hashed password and we need to check to see if the password is the same as new password then we'll log in actually I'm going to put not equal to here because if it's correct we'll just pass them through if it's not equal to the new password I'm going to do that same thing again of course if it's correct it'll just go on to this loop then for the entries um, the only thing to think about in the entries is the entries will show everything, but we don't want the entry to include the username. So one of the things we can do here is instead of keys equals DB keys, we can do keys equals, we can do a matches one. So we can do this one here. We can replace this view entry. Now, because it's a timestamp, the prefix for everything will be two, because it'll be 2000 and, and certainly for the next thousand years that's going to be okay if somebody needs to update this code in a thousand years i think that's good lifespan for it. so as long as there are two in front of it we can pull the data so let's see if this works so it's picked up the first run david all d1 okay add something to my account i am happy let's view that hmm. okay so broken view let's double check that let's turn this back to what ah, i see what i've done there we go 
Did you see what I done there? Well, let's check the login works now. David Aldi one. That's interesting. So I do have keys in here. Why is it not letting me log in then? Let's check that login code. Username, password. If username's not in keys, so I pulled the keys here. Yep. So if username's not in the keys, salt is DB username salt. Okay. That's going to be password and salt. Yes. If DB username password, which I did put a password up here tonight. Yes. Is not equal to the new password. Print username and password incorrect and exit. Okay. So something's going on there. Did I definitely do Baldy? Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to do for key in keys, print, print DB, square brackets key. So let's see what's actually in there. So there's a dictionary with a big bit of salt there. There's that. So let's take that and let's just also print out hash baldy one and the salt. This is manually doing it really. So we can compare. Well, that looks right to me. Those numbers look identical to me. So it's definitely done the right thing. Let's put an if in here. Actually, I think we're right. Let's just print out DB key password just to check that that works. Okay, so key password is crashing there. Oh, it just crashed after the first one, so that's okay. Okay, so let's double check what's happening down here then. So I'm getting that value out. If DB username is not equal to new password, let's see where we're getting to. Are we getting to here? In fact, you know what? Let's use the debugger. Breakpoint here. And then it'll stop as we go. So let's run it. Right, so let's investigate what we've got here. What have we got? We've got a password string baldy one. Okay. Our username string is David. Our keys have been set. We've got a, one called username and one of those. Okay. Um, our database. Yep. Is going there. Okay. So let's step through. Where are we here? We're here. So it went in to that if, did it? If username not in keys, but we saw that it was. So something strange is going on here. Username David. Keys still accessible. Oh. Oh. When I made it. <laughs> when I created the username. That would be very silly if I did what I think I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I created that. There we go. So I created username. I literally put the word username in. There was no variable name in there. So debug is good for something. So I just need to delete all the keys in the database very quickly. Del, I'll just do that. That should delete everything and do my first run again. There we go. So I'll get rid of that now and run it again. So try again, David, Baldy one, add, does it work now? View that, works. And let's log out, log back in. David, Baldy one. Well, hey, it works. You've now got a really private secret diary.